What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dimitri Genitos with eXp Realty and you guys have already read the title and if you don't know who I am, I'm a real estate agent uh, here in Toronto and I have built my entire business solely around my Instagram account uh, in terms of lead generation and in this video, I'm going to teach you the exact strategies that I use in order to build a multiple six-figure income every single year solely from using my Instagram account. Before we get into it, uh, just so you guys know, these are the types of conversations that we're having within our group at the eXp Wolfpack every single day. So if you are looking uh, to see what we offer in terms of training, resources, and mentorship for free, uh, I've left a link down in the description below where you can connect with me and we can chat about that. And with that being said, let's get into the content. So this is a tried and proven strategy that does work. I know plenty of agents who use this exact strategy to build their business, and I actually taught a course in eXp world to hundreds of agents about this topic. And this will be a condensed version of that course. But I promise you, if you implement these strategies and you're consistent, this does work. I want to start off by dispelling a couple myths around Instagram and real estate agents and how to use it. Uh, because I get a lot of agents who come up to me and they're like, okay, hey, Dimitri, that's great for you. You can, you know, pull some leads off your Instagram account. You've got over, you know, whatever, 50,000 followers. Good for you. And I'm here to tell you that you do not need a large Instagram following in order to pull this off. In fact, the person that I learned a lot of the strategies from at the time only had about 5,000 followers and they were pulling close to three quarters of a million dollars gross commission sales every single year solely from their Instagram. So even if you have you know a couple hundred or a thousand or 2,000, I promise you that is enough followers to make this work. And then the second thing I want to dispel is that you know you got to go spend a bunch of money, hire a professional videographer, photographer to have have a influencer like uh, page and you got to invest all this time and money and, and you don't. Okay. In fact, the, the content that I produce that brings me the most business is actually the content that takes the least amount of time and costs me absolutely nothing. So with that being said, first thing I want to do is break down the two types of content that you are going to be posting as a real estate agent, and then also break down why we post each type of content, okay? Because it's really important to understand what we're doing and what the objective is when we're posting content, because so many people just kind of post content and it's just kind of like throwing it at the wall, hoping that you know business comes back. And we definitely want to put some intent behind what we are putting out, okay? So the first type of content is cold content. And when I say cold content, I'm referring to uh, your static content or basically anything that is going to be on your static uh, page or, or the or your profile when you first land on your profile. So this could be photos, videos, reels. The purpose of it is for personal branding. Okay. So the goal is that somebody lands or stumbles across your Instagram page. They should see these first, you know, six photos, or even if they keep scrolling and they should have a really good idea of who you are and what you're about. So hopefully, you know, they figure out that you're a real estate agent. Uh, maybe they know a couple of personal things about you at this point. You know, for me, I'm an avid golfer. So you might see some golf on my page um, and or, you know, my family, right? Like my fiance is on my page. Uh, so whatever you're interested in, they should have a really good idea of what you're about. And then obviously on this page, we want to make sure that the, the quality of the content is high. So then that way, at least people can be like, well, this person can market themselves. They've got some nice photos. Um, you know, they would be able to market my house if I were to hire them. They can kind of put themselves in that situation and, and see the type of work that you do. There is also the aspect of uh, Instagram reels, which have the highest organic reach. So if you're trying to grow your account and reach a new audience, you want to be posting regularly on your Instagram reels. You know, I really do think of the static uh, side of your Instagram page almost as like a billboard. Okay. So, you know, you drive down the street and you'll see billboards with realtors or lawyers or whoever, but does anyone actually really pick up the phone and call a number on a billboard? Not really. You know, this is brand recognition. This is brand awareness and it's important and it's important to focus on that. But I think it's really important to understand what the purpose is and not focus too, too much time on it because this is not actually where you're going to get leads from. You know, spend time here, you know, especially if you're trying to grow your audience, you know, maybe spend 20% of your time on the cold or static content. 
The place where I spend most of my time when I'm using Instagram is on the warm content. And when I say warm content, I'm talking more about our Instagram stories. And I focus a lot more on posting stories for a couple of reasons, okay? I find that they're a lot more engaging, okay? And they're a lot more authentic because, you know, the quality expectation for a story that's going to disappear in 24 hours is much lower than, say, a high quality photo that's going to be on your static page for first. Forever, because that expectation is lower, I can post quicker, more authentic content. You know, if I trip over my words, it's not a big deal, but people really get to see what it's actually like to work with you, uh, to be around you, who you are, what's important to you. So they're going to connect on such a deeper level with you uh, on your stories versus say your static posts. It's literally crazy because I've gone on listing appointments where, you know, someone's been following me for two or three years, watching my stories every single day, and they're acting like they know me, right? They know everything about me. They know what my house looks like. They know who my spouse is. They know what kind of car I drive. But then I meet them and it's like, I've never met you before. So I'm almost the awkward one and they're like extremely comfortable. So you can really grow that deep a connection. And the thing is, it happens at a safe distance for the consumer. Consumer, right? They get to connect with you on their terms. So I've got two main objectives when I'm posting on my Instagram story. One is to really bring my audience along for the ride, for the story. Now, the story has become a compilation of over the years, you know, they've been watching my journey, but on a smaller level, it's, you know, my day to day. We work in a really interesting job. People watch HGTV shows, you know, they watch Million Dollar Listing. People love real estate. And here you are, you're a realtor, you got the most interesting job in the world. And here's your chance to showcase it. Take people behind the scenes, bring them along for the journey, whether it is, you know, the journey of three years or whether it is just starting off with your first stories and taking them along for the day to day, bring them along for the ride, show them what it's like to be in your shoes. I promise you people are interested. And whether you're showing, you know, unique properties, uh, quirky properties, you know, luxury properties, you know, take them through the offer process and the wins and the losses. And my goal is to really connect with my audience. Even if I don't know I'm connecting with them, I promise you people are watching and they're connecting with you. And then the second thing that I'm always mindful of when I'm posting on my stories is to try to create engaging content to get conversations going in my DMs. And a really important thing to understand here is that the money-making activities on Instagram is in the DMs. I promise you the money is in the DMs. Just like, you know, when we're on a cold call, let's say, we know that the objective is to book an appointment, right? So you're going to try to push for that appointment. When you're on Instagram, the objective is to start a conversation in your DMs. Every single deal or lead that I've ever gotten from the platform has initiated from either me initiating a conversation in my DMs or them initiating a conversation. It's never been, you know, somebody saw a picture of me in front of my car with a suit and they picked up the phone and called me and said, hey, Dimitri, sell my house. So it's important to understand that your objective on Instagram is to create engagement and start conversations in your DMs and build relationships. It's not just to look cool or have a brand page about how many houses you've sold. It's to really dive deeper than that and invest in your audience. And if you learn one thing from this video, it's to really reframe your brain and not look at your social media accounts or Instagram as a social media account where you can, you know, post some stuff and get some exposure. It's to really look at it as an extension of your database. Okay. Your followers, whether it's 500, whether it's a thousand, whether it's 10,000, That is your network. And this is an opportunity for you to showcase who you are, what you do every single day, why you're so great. And then on top of that, connect with them, whether it's about real estate or about what's going on in their life, but you can do it at scale. It's funny because people think that, you know, with social media, that, you know, the way we market ourselves, the entire real estate industry has changed, but really the fundamentals of it have stayed the same. The person who talks to the most people and has the most relationships is going to do the most deals. So this is a way that you can do this at scale. Like traditionally, if I wanted to talk to 40 people, I'd have to 
to go down my database list. I have to call them up. I have to, you know, invite them for a coffee date at Starbucks and just try to reconnect with them. And I'm sorry, but that that's weird. You know, like there's only probably like 10 or 20 people that I feel comfortable enough on my CRM picking up the phone and actually booking a one-on-one coffee date with. But there's about 500 people that I feel confident enough, you know, DMing them, talking about, you know, what's happening in their lives or what's happening in my life over Instagram DMs. Everyone's comfortable with that. That's how people want to communicate these days. And it's so much faster to do that rather than booking 400 coffee dates. I can literally have 400 DMs go back and forth in less than a month, right? So, you know, before I even get out of bed, I'll have 20 conversations going in my Instagram DMs and I haven't even left the house yet. So really think of this as an extension of your database and nurture your followings, no matter how big the following is. And and again, keep in mind, like, you know, if you have three or 400 people following you, they're following you for a reason, you know? Maybe they're old high school friends, maybe they're friends of friends, maybe they're family, whatever. They already have some sort of a no like trust factor with you or else they wouldn't be following you at all in the first place. So connect with them, you know? This is a really good way to rekindle old relationships and just get conversations going. Now, obviously, as soon as the conversation turns real estate, I try to take it to a phone call immediately. I'll push for a call, just like we said on our cold call, push for the appointment. Here, I'm going to push for a call. Oh, that's a great question. It's so much easier to explain this uh, over the phone. What's your number? Just wait. I promise you they're going to send you their number, and then you can call them and start the conversation on real estate. But I think the big thing here is to really invest in long-term relationships. I literally have probably about 500 Instagram friends, some of which we talk talk about real estate, some of which we just talk about random stuff, you know, whether it's sports, uh, whether it's what's going on in their lives, uh, whether it's stuff around the city, doesn't matter. But the more people you have relationships with who know that you're a real estate agent, it will turn over into deals over time. And one little trick that I use, and this works especially good if you have a smaller uh, Instagram account and you're not getting very much engagement on your stories is Don't wait for people to engage with your content. Go engage with theirs. For instance, you know, most people get up and they'll look at their static page on their Instagram and, you know, they'll see all the the memes and the, and the reels and all this stuff. I personally get up and I start looking through people's stories and I see what they're doing in their day to day. And let's say, you know, I might have to go through, you know, 20 stories before I see somewhere where I can actually put some authentic input in. Like maybe I see someone that I follow and, you know, they're walking their dog at a park that I was at yesterday. And I'll be like, oh man, I was there yesterday. You know, make sure you go down the corner. There's a coffee shop there. I always get, you know, this latte, whatever the case may be, right? Make sure it's not forced, but start conversations that way. People love to talk about what's going on in their life. And and when you start DMing someone, you know, what they going to do? Naturally, they're going to look at your page. They're going to see what you're up to. Oh, boom. There's more real estate content on your story. This person's out and about. They're busy. They're successful. They're good at what they do. I can see that clearly from their stories. And it's a great way to stay top of mind when that time does come. Who are they going to go to? You know, the person who's on the billboard or the person that they have been going back and forth on DMs for the last eight months about real estate, but not about real estate doesn't matter. They're going to, you're going to be the first person that comes to mind and you're going to get the nod. And I think it's really important to make sure that you do this in a very genuine and authentic way um, when you're building these relationships. I personally love going on my Instagram, chatting with everyone about whatever. doesn't have to be real estate, but it's like I'm building real relationships and naturally it will turn into business over time. So now that you've got the general principles down and you know what activities you need to be doing on Instagram in order to actually make money off of it, I'm going to leave you with the same challenge that I made for myself years ago when I first started doing this. And it was to post real estate related content every single day for six months straight. I wasn't going to let my story go dry. And I figured, you know, six months was a long enough period of time where I could test something and see if it was actually working or not. And sure enough, you know, only three months in, the challenge was keeping up with the stories because I was so busy servicing the clients that I got from doing the activities. So I challenge you, you know, post on your story every single day, real estate related content, make it as engaging as possible. Make sure that you are communicating with your sphere and your following as you're doing this, just conversations, chat with people and build genuine relationships. And I promise you it will turn into business over time and it does not take as long as you think. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video.